Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome to my channel. It's Christmas Eve and we're getting ready to start working on our Christmas Eve gumbo that we have every year. I'm looking forward to that. It's one of our favorite things. So it's just going to be me and Whitney and Lacey here tonight, but we always enjoy that no matter what. And I find that this Christmas season has not gone as planned. And unfortunately, I was not able to get out any content for you until now. But I have this video that I filmed. It's a decorate with me that I did early in the beginning stages of my decorating for Christmas. And I know it's late, but I thought you might still like to see it. And I thought I would offer it as my gift to you on Christmas. So if you have a little bit of time, I hope you'll take it and enjoy this video. And I also wanted to let you know, I am going to be doing a house tour, a Christmas house tour. It's going to be late. So I'll get it up as early as I can in the week. And I'll definitely get it up before New Year's. But um, like I said, it'll be after Christmas that you get that video because I haven't even filmed it yet. But I will be doing that. And you can see a little bit behind me of what I've done. And turning around so you can see my tablescape behind me. So I did do some decorating, not as much as I had planned. It turns out that trying to decorate for Christmas with the puppy is not the easiest thing in the world. But I did do a lot of what I really wanted to do, and I'm excited to show that to you. I really just wanted to put out this video to wish you a very Merry Christmas. I hope you are having a wonderful Christmas season and that you have some great quality time with your family this Christmas. And I also want to wish you a Happy New Year. I'll be making another video before then, but I just want to say I am so appreciative of every one of you, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm so excited. As you can see, I have a tree behind me here, and let me pan around. There's another one behind me over here. So I have already decorated two trees in the dining room. That's where we are. We're gonna be doing a tablescape. Y'all know I love my tablescapes. So I'm gonna decorate the table, and we're gonna be decorating the buffet today. But as a reminder, or if you're new to this video or to my channel and you didn't see my other video where I showed this, this is the plate that is the inspiration for all of my Christmas decor this year. Every year I go thrifting and find a plate and this was this year's plate. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So this is going to be the star of the show and everything I've done in here and really throughout all of my Christmas decor that I'm going to be decorating this year is based off of this plate. So if you're interested in seeing what I do here in the dining room, then just stay tuned. Here's a look at the two Christmas trees that I decorated in here. Last year I had done the one in the corner here, but I did not do one on the side and I knew that it would look beautiful if I ended up doing two trees. So that's what I wanted to do this year and I love how it looks. So I wanted to do something that would blend in with the plates and I wanted to go really heavy on greens and golds this year and not so much on the reds, but I did want to bring in some pops of reds, especially with that plate. So you will see that I just have a few little pops of red throughout the tree. And one of the things that I have always struggled with is putting ribbon on a tree. And I just love how it ended up turning out this year. I used two different ribbons on this tree. I have my main ribbon which is the star of the tree, I think. I needed the trees to be puppy friendly, so I decided not to use any ornaments. Originally, I was planning to put ornaments, but I decided to just stick with the sprays. So I did a couple of different spray arrangements in here. So our spray clusters, you might say. So I ended up pairing this eucalyptus with these gold leaves. And then to that, I thought the red velvet walls gave it just the right amount of pop of red. For my other spray cluster, I ended up using these beautiful champagne and silver berries along with this spray that has the gold and the berries. 
and I just love the green leaves. So this is what is bringing in all of my combination of colors from the plates and tying all of that together. And then I ended up using this spray that has the three glitter balls and it's so beautiful. And I think that is the one touch that makes it look like I have some ornaments in the tree when I really don't. And my poinsettias, I used a few of them throughout the tree to complement the poinsettias I have on the top of the tree for the tree topper. So I just absolutely love how the trees ended up turning out this year. I ended up finding these beautiful tree skirts at Ross and I just think they are the perfect complement to the tree and then also to the plates and I think they're just going to set off my table setting beautifully once you see how that table is going to end up coming together. So I did have to be careful because of Lacey. We have a new puppy and she's all into everything. So that's one of the reasons I opted not to put ornaments on the tree this year. We're going to see how much these last, but that's one reason I didn't put any stuffing or anything underneath my tree skirts. Normally I might put some stuffing up under there, but I'm not doing any of that. I'm keeping it simple this year because of Lacey because it's hard enough trying to keep her away from these trees. Here's a look at all the things I've pulled to use on my tablescape. I found these beautiful table runners at Ross and when I saw them, I knew they were gonna be the perfect complement for my plates. So I love these and they are actually double-sided I think they could work with either side, but I'm going to use the lighter side. I just love this whole design, and I think it's going to look beautiful on the table. And then for my chargers, we're going to see what it looks like on the table. I can't decide if I want to go with the green or the gold, so we're going to see when we get it on the table. If I end up going with the green chargers, I'm probably going to use these placemats underneath. And I think I found these at Ross also. Um, and I'm also going to be using these plates. These were my mom's from my mom's China. And I think they're going to complement this beautifully, even though it's silver. Since I have the mix of silver and gold on the tree, I think it's going to work with the plates. And then I pulled these things to use in my centerpiece. I'm going to try to put together like a little winter wonderland scene for my centerpiece. So we'll see how that ends up coming together. I'm going with a lot of greens this year in my decor. So I'm using this green velvet ribbon around the top of my hurricane just to add that little bit of festive color and make it look more Christmassy. And I think it's just so beautiful and elegant. I love the way velvet looks on anything. And to secure it down, I'm just using scotch tape and that seems to be holding it very well. I wanted to use the same tray and lantern that I always have on the table. I've just been switching it out for the different seasons for over a year now and I really like doing this. I decided I wanted to do a winter wonderland type scene for the centerpiece. So I started out by filling the base of the lantern with some picks that have the beautiful greens and golds and berry colors and they're sparkly. So I thought they would be perfect for the base. And then I added in this beautiful green Christmas tree that was from Target last year. 
And then for the tray, that's where I'm gonna create the winter wonderland scene. So I just started out by putting my deer and then I have these glass Christmas trees that are so beautiful. I picked them up at a local Christmas shop early in the season and I just love them. So I knew I wanted to use these on the tray. Now these are ornaments and they're actually glass ornaments, but I'm not worried about that. I love to use my museum putty and that's how I'm putting these onto the tray. And the museum putty is great because it will hold these down and I will not have to worry about them. They will stay all season just standing tall and pretty because the museum putty just does a great job of holding things down like this. I'll leave a link for some in the description box in case you are interested. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love museum putty. larger items on the tray and I liked how they were looking it was time to put my snow on the tray so I'm just using the fake snow I think this is some that I already had from a few years back it's so messy but it's worth it for things like this and I wasn't worried about it getting on the table because I knew I would just use my Dyson and vacuum it up when I was done and so it didn't bother me that I already had things on the table. So when you're doing something like this, if you have a good handheld vacuum, don't even worry about the mess. It'll be easy to clean up when you're done. Last little finishing touch on the centerpiece. I'm just adding in some of these mini ornaments. I thought it could use a little more color like on the snow. I love bringing in more of the red and the green and the gold just to help tie everything together and it doesn't look so white because I feel like the look that I'm going for while I wanted a winter wonderland, I'm not using a ton of white in the room, just enough to kind of tie everything together. So I love how these little mini ornaments from Target just help tie everything together in the room. gold placemats that I found at Ross. I love the cut work on them. I think they're so pretty and I actually love that they say joy on them although I'm going to be covering that up but I think if you wanted to use these on a table um, just plain I think it would look beautiful especially since it says the word joy. And then I wasn't sure what chargers I wanted to use so I'm using the green and then I brought one of my golds because I just kind of wanted to see which one I thought would look better. For the dinner plates, I'm using my mom's china and then I'm going to be using my beautiful thrifted plates that I found. keep the place setting simple and just have a nice clean look. So I'm not going to be using any flatware or glasses on this particular table, but I did want to finish it off with these beautiful Merry Christmas napkins that I found at Home Goods. I think they're very simple, but add a nice little touch to the table to just finish everything off. After seeing the place settings all together, I decided that I did like the gold chargers, but I was really having a hard time deciding which ones to go with. So what I did was I went with two green and two gold, and I kind of like how it turned out.
first room is done, at least for now. I'm probably gonna do some more in here, but for now, I love how it's turned out. My table is simple, but I absolutely love it. I think the trees and the table work so well together. I love my tree skirts and my table runners that I found this year. I feel like they really make a statement in this room. And I don't know, I may just keep it kind of simple in here like this, or I may add some more. Who knows what I'm gonna do, but that's part of the fun of decorating. I know this decorate with me was a little bit late, but I hope it gave you some ideas maybe for next year and just a little bit of inspiration and Christmas cheer today. So like I said before, I am so happy that you're here with me. Thank you so much for always supporting me. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you would give it a like, subscribe, do all the things. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.